Hey guys, it's Farah here and um, today I'll be doing the ultimate nail tag that was created by Anna's Beauty, Su Beauty Supply, Anna's Beauty Secret. Um, so it consists of 10 questions on why you like nail art and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I'm actually in my washroom right now because this is the only place that I actually have really nice lighting right now. It's getting pretty dark outside. I have to wear a hat just because I came back from badminton and my hair is pretty messed up right now. So my hat looks like that. I bought this at Forever 21 and the one in Tokyo, which is funny, like, I'm in like Asia, I'm still shopping in the US store in Forever 21, like seriously. But um, yeah. So I'm going to get started with the ultimate nail tag. So question number one, when did your nail passion start? I think it started when it was around like last year summer when I was just, or actually no, maybe even before that, like two, two, two Christmas ago, um, me and a few friends went to get acrylic nails and then um, we started getting nail polishes. I started to get more exposed to that and then slowly I start, you know, noticing the brands and stuff like that. So two summers, two Christmas ago. Number two, when did you get, when did you start growing your nails long? Um, I think last Christmas when I start to seriously do my nail arts because um, this actually gives me more space in my hands that I can actually, you know, draw stuff on. So that was last Christmas. That's when I actually started doing a lot more nail art to myself. Number three, what are the secrets to growing nail lo natural long nails? Secret, there's no secret to it. Just grow them. But, you know, I guess the reason, yeah, I guess, um, I'm quite a spoiled girl. Everyone was kind of say that I don't actually have to cook. I don't have to do any chores at home. I don't do the laundries. It's gonna be pretty bad. I don't do the laundries. I don't cook. I don't need to wash dishes. So um, that actually helped me for not chipping my nails and I have pretty healthy nails really so um, and they're pretty thick so then they actually don't break that easily either so um, that helped me in growing them I didn't actually use cuticle I mean cuticle oil was you know for the dryness that which I still do have and um, strengthener nail strengthener wasn't actually I don't actually see a difference between using nail strengthener I use it just in case I chip myself if I get pretty clumsy myself anyway. So, no secrets. Number four, do you like long or short nails? Um, I like both. It really depends. If I really want to do nail art, then I keep them long, 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 long. And um, if I, you know, to, to for like sports, like if I go snowboarding, I actually want my nails short um, to keep myself functional. Number five, which do you prefer most? Acrylic gel or fiberglass or any other nail enhancement? Um, I hate acrylic just because they stink. And my impression of these is just that they are not too healthy for your um, fingers. So I prefer not to do any of them. But if you really have to choose, I choose gel nails. Um, they don't stink as bad. and. From what I heard, uh, you know, what I heard, that they seem to be um, ne less harmful than the acrylics. Number seven, what nail shape do you like? Round, square, pointy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I like them, naturally, I kind of like them round. I, I have them round for like a really long time. Uh, recently, I do like it um, square just so I could get the itty bitty more space so that I can... Um, you know, draw more stuff on my nails, but I have a cut here before. I um, I cut myself use with my pinky finger. Oh, by the way, my phone is tutorial. But anyways, um, I cut myself because I had square nails, and I cut myself with my own nail. So that little corner has to be taken off just because I don't want to cut myself again. And there's a little scar actually. So. In the mean, like usually I actually prefer round nails just so I don't hurt myself. But square would be good for nail art. Number eight, what nail polish brand do you like the most? I, I like OPI and China Glaze. Just, yeah, those are the only, those are the usual ones that I buy. Um, 
opiate because of the brush inside it's like huge and um, china glaze has the same i think has the same consistency as the opi one just that the brush is a regular size but it's cheaper so i think i'll go for china glaze just because if I really need to um, put more application, like I don't really care about the brush, I can actually I can totally just do another coat or whatever. You know, it doesn't doesn't hurt me. So China glaze just because it's cheaper, and I'm cheap. Um, number nine. If you were stuck on an island, what would be the three items that you would bring for your nails? Um, I think I bring a nail filer or something like a buffer so that I can actually file my nails down. That way, um, I, assuming that I'm on an island, I'm be actually doing some handy stuff. So I don't think I want to break my nails, or I don't even think I'll care. It's just that if I have shorter nails, then that way I can be more functional, so I don't, you know, hurt myself while I'm already in pain because I'm on an island. And um, I get like calluses around me, so. The rough skin would be good if I can like file it down or a buffer so that it doesn't you know bother me too much. Uh, I also bring a cuticle oil just so that I keep my hands, my cuticles moisturized because they do get pretty dry easily. And last but not least, I bring a hand cream because cons considering again that I'm on an island, I'd be doing a lot of shit. Oops. Um, I'd be doing a lot of stuff, so then um, I would need to moisturize my hands a lot more. Uh, number 10, final question. Why do you love nail art, and how did you get started? Okay, I'm going to answer how did I get started first. So I started when I started really buying more nail polishes with my friends, and I started applying the nail polishes myself. And as a beginner, I was never actually good and just even putting the one color, I, I suck at that. And I always leave streaks on it and all that. So to cover my mistakes, I put like a diagonal line and like, you know, stuff like a diagonal line or another color so that the, I think my first design I've ever, ever made was um, half a nail diagonally split. This is one color and then the second half would be another color just so that it could cover up my streak marks and stuff like that. I don't know. I I sucked. So yeah, that was sort of how I started doing nail arts because from that I kind of evolved and like did more stuff like oh putting dots, putting lines and, and then started having a lot of stuff in my room for nail arts. So that's kind of how I started. Um, when I it was during the Christmas time that I seriously got into it that I actually started doing like Christmas designs and stuff like a snowflakes and all that. Those were easy and those were nice. So, yeah. Um, why do you like nail art? Um, I am never, ever, still am not, a um, artistic person at all. And considering someone like me who's just not artistic in any sense at all being able to do something on your nails is a really impressive thing for me and I I actually found myself doing them pretty nicely and I think yeah like just like that and I started liking it I don't know this like question is like why do you like your boyfriend is there really a reason why you just like him you know so that's sort of my answer to you and that completes this um, ultimate nail tag. Thank you to Anna's Beauty Secret to this nail tag. And I had quite a lot of fun. It makes me think back to why I started. So, yep, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy!